Welcome to day 20 of these daily devotionals. Today is question 20 from the New City Catechism that we're working through together and it also marks the last question in part one of the Catechism. Part one has focused on God, creation, the fall and the law. So congratulations if you've got this far. By the end of today we will have finished part one of this three-part Catechism. And next time we're going to be looking at part two, which focuses on Christ, redemption and grace. And as a taster of what is to come, that's what really what question 20 is all about. So here we go. This is the question. Who is the Redeemer? And here's the answer. The only Redeemer is the Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, in whom God became man and bore the penalty for sin himself. Who is the Redeemer? The only Redeemer is the Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God, in whom God became man and bore the penalty for sin himself. And the reading is 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5, which says this, For there is one God and one mediator between God and mankind, the man Christ Jesus. And the devotion this morning is written by Mark Dever. The Redeemer is Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of God. The eternal Son of God became man and lived a real human life like ours. For a little more than 30 years in the first century AD, he lived like you and me. The only difference is that he always trusted God. He trusted him entirely. So if you think of ways just yesterday and the day before that you should have trusted God and didn't, in those very times, Jesus obeyed God. He trusted that what God knew was better, that he should follow his Father's will. When I look back on my own life, I know that I haven't lived like that. But the Redeemer, Jesus Christ, has. He is called the Redeemer because he redeems his people. He resets our value. When you redeem something at a store, you turn it in and you get some money for it. When I was a kid, we had redemption stamps. We would save up our stamps and then turn them in to get something else. Well, Jesus is what sets our value. He resets our value. He gives his own life on the cross for all who repent of their sins and trust in him. He is our redeemer. He has valued us, though we have thrown our own lives away by not trusting in our heavenly father, by not obeying him and by not fearing him. He actually came and gave his own life in our place. He lived a life of trust and he died a death that he didn't have to die, but he did it because of his love for us. He gave himself entirely for us so he could, as the Bible says, be our redeemer, the one who rescues us. The image of redemption in the Old Testament is one of God rescuing his people from Egypt, pulling them out of bondage, out of literal slavery. In the New Testament, Jesus the Redeemer rescues us from our natural state of being in bondage to sin and of serving ourselves in destructive ways. But God, in his great love, sent his only begotten son, who lived a perfect life, died on the cross, and then rose from the dead, in order to bring us to him, to redeem us. That's what we mean when we say Jesus Christ is our redeemer. Don't you just love the fact that Jesus is the redeemer because he redeems his people, that is, he resets our value. Well, that's a helpful reflection, isn't it? A helpful clarification. Uh, if you deem something, you regard it or consider it in a certain way as valuable. So to use a topical example, we might say his travel was deemed necessary. What we mean by that is his travel was regarded as important, as valuable, as significant. And that gives us a bit of insight, doesn't it, into how Jesus regards us as the redeemer. He is the one who values us, 
who regards us in a certain way and when we want to understand how he regards us and how much he values us well we we need only look to the cross don't we we see there the full cost of our redemption it cost jesus the cross it cost jesus his life offered as a sin sacrifice in our place and as a result we are freed from our spiritual bondage to sin and we are freed to follow God and live in obedience to him. What a wonderful truth to take us into the day today. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you are the redeemer. Thank you for resetting our value by giving yourself as the sacrifice for our sin. The one who died in our place. Thank you for freeing us from our bondage, from our slavery to sin. Thank you for liberating us so that we can know God as our Father. We praise you today and we ask that you would help us to remember that we have been redeemed at such a cost, cost with the precious blood of Christ. Help us to live with thankful obedience today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.